example, just a, a quick one, just to say, you know, it's here. And I'm super excited to be opening it and have a look. Okay, just cheat it a little bit and just cut it open. But now we go through the exciting part about Christmas. So as you can see, we've got the Garrett Ace 400i. Gonna unbox it now, see what comes in the box. Oh, moment of truth. Lots and lots of goodies and toys to have a little. As you can see, we've gone for the 55th anniversary edition. So included, we've got a Garrett Finds box, which I'll open up and have a proper look through in a second. You get the Garrett Pro Pointer 80, and you get the coil cover. Now, in here we've got two little things. We've got the Ace cover, and we've got the Garrett Favourite Finds book as well, which again, I'm going to open up and have a little look through. So we started off my metal detecting career with the Ace 150. And those of you that have used the Ace 150 know it's a great beginner machine, nice to learn on. But look at all these buttons. So all we've got left now is we've got the stem. And tucked away under here, the coil. So now I'm going to put it all together. So step one in our assembly is to loosen off the lower cam lock. So I've done that already. I'm going to extend the lower stem and I'm just going to guess at the correct height at the moment and then I can adjust it again afterwards so as soon as you've extended it we're just going to input the washers up into the top section here you can see the two little washers there just fit in perfectly one on either side I'm just going to clip those in nice and tight one in so now we're going to do the other so again you just line up those little circles in the washers little rods on the lower stem just clip them in together oh, that one went in a lot nicer and what you'll see from here we're then going to loosen the upper cam lock insert the S stem with control housing and adjust the lower stem to the comfortable length now so loosen off the top or top cam lock is already nice and loose so i'm going to depress the two little rods here and slide that into the mid stem now being quite tall i'll put it on the higher setting and we're going to start to tighten. So now we need to set our length. Lots of guides online on how to set the length for this one. And so the next step is actually to attach the coil, but before I do that, I'm going to put my coil cover on straight away. This is always an interesting bit. It's good fun trying to match these up. And then it's giving a nice solid click all the way around. Oh. And now it feels locked in place. That's so just going to prevent any scratches, any rough stone damage in your coil. So now that's on and nice and solid, we're going to attach it to the stem here. So you literally just drop the two little washers on the end of the stem in between the housing on your coil, slide the bolt straight through and then just hand tighten on the far side.
And I'm just going to screw that in. Don't want to over tighten these. You can break them, so just hand tighten. And there you have it, all connected up. So, our next step is to wrap the coil, or wrap the cable, sorry, around the stem all the way up and connect it to the control housing at the top. Now, in the guide, it always says go over your stem first. So, you're going to come from the side over the top of the stem if it's laid flat like this, then come underneath. You want it reasonably tight. Don't want the cable to be able to bounce around and give you false signals. So, we're just going to go around a few times, make sure it's Nice and solid on there, we're not going to end up with lots of slack. And then at the top, the cable will only fit in one way. So you just slide that in nice and tight and tighten up the washer and that at the top here to hold it in nice and secure. Perfect. And again. Oh, we might get away with one more wrap around with the cable. It's nice and tight, not too loose. And we know it's at the right length. Now the machine itself has actually come with batteries supplied already. So we're not going to change those just yet. I've got a huge stack of batteries from my last one. And the final piece right now, we're going to add the control box cover just to protect it from any light, rain and dust. And as you see, fairly straightforward. The cover just slides straight over the top here. And you can see that's just going to protect your control house, stop any water getting in around the buttons, destroying the batteries and the circuit boards inside. And a nice simple Velcro attach. And there we have it, the 400i all set up and ready to go. And now we're just going to have a quick look at some of the other accessories that come with the 55th edition. So it comes with your Garrett Clearsound Easy Stow headphones with volume control on there for a lot of people that don't like the Garrett's loud noise. So next up we've got Garrett's favourite finds. I'm going to have a flick through that in a second. We've got a Garrett finds box. You can just see here lots of sections in there, some other sections, and it's double sided. And you get even more storage on the other side. And then our last one is the Garrett Pro Point AT, which we're going to take out of the box now and have a look at. Now, you don't have to use the Garrett pinpointers with your Garrett machine, but they're a good quality, better than some of the cheap ones that are going to give you lots and lots of false signals. And we get a nice little holster to store it in while we're walking around swinging. So you can see on the end of the pinpointer here, if we just unscrew the last few screws. And open it up, it just runs off a 9 volt battery which comes included. If not, you can pick these up all over the place. So just a quick demo on the Garrett, Garrett Pro Pointer AT. So you just press the power button once to switch on, you hear the beep, you see the light come on. Now, when you're digging around in the hole, I'm just going to use the metal on the holster as a, a bit of an example. You see, when you touch the metal, it starts ringing as you get closer. And you can do that on just about anything. And then you get that nice, solid sound as soon as you start to touch. And there it is in the holster, and everyone's favourite test. It stays in there upside down, which is always a good start.